and this will go in there, and this will open, and this will go in there, and this will put in there. Oh, but this? No, no, no. This, this goes in the toilet. No! Hello everyone, welcome back to Date Night. You're gonna be my date for this one, like you have all through Slender. Today we're going to be jumping into Soma. I don't know much about the game, I do know it's supposed to be kind of scary. Done by the same guys that did Amnesia and Penumbra. Uh, I have played a little bit of Amnesia, I've never played Penumbra. I heard both of them are really good. So let's go ahead and we're gonna jump right into this creepy creepy world of robots and stuff. Except. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Soma. What does Soma stand for? So we got a lady's face. What does Soma stand for? What do you think? Alright, let's jump right in to new game. You probably stand maybe to adjust a little ton of bit. There we go. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Loading. So how have you guys been? It's been a little while. Are you ready to get scared again? Is anyone really angry that I didn't technically finish the eight pages? I couldn't do it. It was annoying. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. Pretty it's brown just my eyes. Brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Your brain can't Here, stop bleeding? This. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. That looks red to me. Didn't that Actually, look red? I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's oh. not like that. She's using an android. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? Ugh. For what? Oh. Okay, you guys saw it was not me driving. I did not. Christ. Oh, that is weird. Ah, oh. Wow, this looks really good. TFLO, Toronto Festival Literature. Okay, so it's taking place in Toronto, so we know that. That's cool. All right, can, how do I pick it up? R2 to pick things yeah, up. I'm oh, that's up. weird. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah. yeah? That's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke David earlier. Munchie. The brain scan. I remember. You hungry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. Oh, I've done that. Capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. David Munchie. Tracer food. So, yeah, when you do, like, scans, they give you, like, a tracer fluid to drink, and then you go and you do it, and it does, does stuff. Okay, so... Oh, that is so weird. Wait, how do I... Robin McCoy hooked. That is some Silent Hill stuff. Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about. What is with me reading? I, uh, talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach, that first day Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere beyond the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled, screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie... No, not another kid named Charlie. <laughs> there better not be another fucking Charlie in this game that chases me. Oh, we pissed. I can't handle Charlie's. I can't do it. No, I'm sorry. Their son Charlie is caught by. Why do you guys like the name Charlie so much? It, it's kind of all right. Okay, whatever. We're just Charlie Maston Jr. Except this time it's Charlie Miller. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm still caught on it. 
Um, seven-year-old son Charlie is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mythic, mystical, and absolutely terrifying hooked will be, will pull you in. Yeah, okay, can I open it? Hints. You text using R. Oh, wait. Oh my god, serious? <laughs> can I open it? Can I read it? I guess not. Oh, and it's like a series, too. Alright. Oh, this is weird, but I like it. Is there- can I take the sunglasses? Blah! <laughs> can, anything else? Blah! <laughs> put the tracer flare. Blah! <laughs> oh my god. I didn't- oh man. That's fun. Wait, no, 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 come back here. I'm not done with you. Oh, man. Hey, look, pants. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are oh, you? Oh, calm down there, buddy. What's this? Can I throw you two? <laughs> What's in here? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> oh, old french fries? All right. What about you? Blah! I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is what my apartment actually looks like. Oh, hey. A glass? <laughs> oh <my God>. ah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I guess I should probably stop, huh? This is a great tutorial. <laughs> oh, oh! I can push a button. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh! Is that a light? Can I hit that? Yes. Keys. Oh, I just picked them up. What's this? Can I read you? To Simon Jarrett, McCord, uh, Toronto, Ontario, MST. Okay, great. Um, I get, can I, like, I, is that it? Can I not, can I open you? Can I just, no, no? <laughs> Can I turn this on? Can I turn it on? No? No? Alright, okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'll get serious. I'm sorry. It sucks! <laughs> no wonder Simon can't find any of this stuff. Oh, man. This is fun. What else? Waste. No, this is still good. This is still good. Come here. Let's open this. A bit of fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. No, come. Ah. What's this? To do. Remind Jesse. Pick up meds. Flowers for funeral. Oh, somebody died. I'm guessing it was the girl who was just like, "Don't make it weird." Don't make it, don't make this strange, you fucking weirdo, because your fucking thing is, thing is going. Maybe I should just close this and go with, like, nothing in there. Alright, okay. Ooh, 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 we got... Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Uh, yeah, I have a funeral to go to. Love you, miss you, mean it. That should have been my slogan. The memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love you, miss you, mean it. Oh my god, I totally should have used that instead of XXOO, but oh well. What's done is done. Oh, look at this. Look at this, this nice picture. 
Ain't that nice? That's nice. Just a nice picture. That's nice. Oop, sorry, I keep jumping. Oh, a cup of coffee. Great. What are these nerd books? Oh, what's this? A USB drive? Give me. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something to look at. Um, can I read it? Oh, a little sad guy. A little sad dude. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seven twelve. I don't know what that says. I can't read that. I keep hitting it. I'm so used to slender. Get well soon. A little sad guy. It's just so cute. Get well soon. Love, mom. Blech. What is this? Oh my god, it's so cute. I would totally have something like that. I have like lots of little figures and I collect a lot of things. Blech. Blech. Alright, so we look at that, look at that. Let's look at the computer. I keep jumping. David Munch Munchi. Oh Munchi, as in not Munchy, but Munchy. Munchy. Neurograph session. April 30th, 2015. When did this game come out? This is pretty recent, right? Okay, um, thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are Guess our access to. I should just stop reading. Like, I just re read. But since we're guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munshi. New prescription. Dr. Aaron Peak. New prescription. April 20th, 2015. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to. Uh, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription of Prozin. Prazosin? Prazosin. Is that a real drug? It doesn't, it's probably not. It can't be. They probably just made it up. Prazosin. To help you with your nightmares, please re- Oh, it's a happy pill. <laughs> I get it now. I'm gonna say. So it's only for stress. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just not putting two and two together. I'm a, I'm a dumb. A do -a -dum. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peak. Draft. Saturday off. Oh. oh. I forgot to hit send. <laughs> oh, then that's why. He doesn't have, you know, the brain of a goldfish. You do, Simon. You do. Since you probably forgot, here is me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on the shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. So Simon owns like a bookstore. Yeah, we'll send the email. Why not, right? Better late than never. Right? Wait, no, 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 hang on, hang on. Go, 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 go back, go back. I want to see what else there is. Can I not? What is ZX? By uh, XZ. See, that's why I can't read right there. Apparently, I um, have this thing where I just can't do things. What are these post its? My work desk is like a lot messier than this. Coffee stains, yeah. No, that's still. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, hello, hello. Cinema variety. The Ultimate Movie Magazine, Summer Blockbusters, Jap Animation, Bigger Than Ever, Stunt 3S, C61, What's a Bottle Movie, Massive Recall, Flawless Executive, ex ex Execution, Really? Like, really? What is my problem? <laughs> uh. 
In theaters, December 13th. Oh, so this is either... Yeah, this is like an old one. Oh, okay. Cinema Variety. Ultimate Movie Magazine. Summer Blockbuster. Japan Animation Sun. What's a bottle movie? Even though I can read these just fine. Okay, sure. Oh, 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 there's another one. Let me read that one, too. I can't even get to that one. No, oh, fuck you. Ah! Downtown accident kills young woman. Oh, this is... Okay, Friday, April 10th, 2015. So this is really recent. We can assume it's pretty much April and because doctor's appointment and stuff. Okay, it's not even assuming. It's, it's all fact now. I am good at putting together stories. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. Less lucky. Sorry, that was my spit. As the car crashed at the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. That is really dark. I don't think most newspapers would write, say, like, saying that, they would just say that she, right? I, Canada? <laughs> Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him in a permanent brain damage. With permanent brain damage. How do they have all that information already? Like, really? The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released to the police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Unavoidable? Are you kidding me? It says right on there that your children distracted you. You should... Unavoid. Sure. Whatever. It's glowing. Why is that glowing? It's glowing. I need to get to that. How do I get that? It's glowing. I need to get the glowing. How can I? I can't get the glowing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So there's a light here. Boop. Wow. Oh. Actually kind of nice. Let me pick up my eye for a little bit. All right. And then what do we got? We got a... Massive recoil. John Yu is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day, his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon Triad. Get ready to go rogue, for it's time to go against the Triad, the police, and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Sounds like fun. It's, uh... Different, sure. What the fuck is my thing doing? It's like... Right. Oh. Watching TV gives me headaches now. <gasps> Thank you, brain. Oh, that sucks. So, you read. Reading's good. I love to read. I actually really love reading. Okay, right, this is where I throw my thing. Um, okay, so I think we've seen everything over here. Let's go ahead. It's probably the bathroom, right? Oh, look at how nice that is. You can, like, take a poop and look out the window. Can I open the window? Nope. Alright, well... Oh my god, dude. It's really gross. Do you... What? Oh man, that's gotta be the blood from his head, right? Alright, alright. Oh, hey! There it, there it is! Tracer fluid! What else is in here? Can I take a shower? Take a shower. Take a shower. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. No! Shower now! I want to see you naked! I didn't say that. Eh, it's me anyway, right? Like, I'm nothing great to look at. That's just a... Uh, just a thing. It's a... Uh, for this where it belongs. Right in the trash can. Because I remember that. There's no water in there either! Oh, that sounds really gross. 
All right, okay. Can I? <laughs> Drink the soapy water, right? That'll be good, yeah. <laughs> That'll go in there, and this'll go in there, and this'll go in there, and this will open, and this will go in there. And this will put in there. Oh, but this? No, no, no. This, this goes in the toilet. No! Can I pick up the dirty rags? No? All right. How about we clean the toilet? Yes? There we go. There we go. Don't drop the soap! Bad joke. All right. So we got that. Uh, to use the object you have acquired, press R2 when the item is displayed on the screen. So she said the liquid was a different color. Like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. So it's creamy, but metal-like taste and copper, copperish. So it's, ba it's basically blood. It tastes like blood. Ooh, ooh, hello. Mapping minds, Albert Isaacson. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet ex accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. Oh, I don't think he wants his head to spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of life. Interesting. Alright, cool. Do so we got everything? He's not naked. We got the phone, we got that. We do, he doesn't want to do that. Um, yeah, okay. So I think, uh, I think that it's time that we just head out now because I couldn't get to that one thing that was a little shiny why can't I do that it's really d upsetting <clears throat> oh hey we're on a subway is Toronto a subway is really this dirty I feel they wouldn't be like I in my mind Canada is a really clean place uh granted I've only ever gone to um uh, Ottawa. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. Aw, thank you. I should you. be able to come to the store after the scan. I'm getting oh, sweated. I got Matt. Chris helped me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. You know. Uh, uh, Not doing <laughs> favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well. Good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't Whoa. bring the place down. Whoa. Over and out, buddy. That, that kid. That kid, uh... All a big setup. Uh, okay. This guy's nuts next to me. Not to mention, Jesse, you're a goddamn jerk. That was mean and insensitive. How dare you, sir? My brain is hemorrhaging. This is all you have to say. I'm just the internal monologue of Simon, apparently. Well, that's a good sound in door. Oh, but this doesn't look good at all. Hello? Why is everything so dark? Dr. Munchie? <laughs> Munchie. Yeah, why don't we... Oh, look! Hey, kids! Oh, Canada! Da, 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 da. Um, so I have only been to Ottawa. I went to the Ottawa Animation Festival when I was in college. Um, and, I mean, that was... That was fun. Oh, my God. You want to see, like, grown adults singing like crazy? Um, so... <clears throat> Yeah, no, totally really fun experience. Bunch of adults sitting around watching cartoons. 
Um, a lot of which that I saw you can actually now watch on Netflix. Uh, I like, I don't, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, hey, I can run. Um, not a huge fan of dramas. I just don't like them. Life is depressing as it is. Like, why do I need to? Oh, oh, oh. Can I? Oh, this one's shiny. Page 56. Narrow graphic. Graphic. Nakujima? That's Japanese, yeah? Well, na Nako Jimon? Nakujima? I could be saying this completely wrong. Weird. Okay, sure. Oh boy. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. Oh boy, tell it to my brain. The brain has an amazing transformative quality of plasticity. 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 That allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in the neuroscience at York University in Toronto. Is this quality that Berg and his colleagues David Mushi, a student of computer science, Mushi's not a medical doctor. Mushi's not a medical doctor. He's a computer science kid. But the we well, it, I guess none of the things did say doctor. Okay, so a uh, student of computer... Well, okay, but he is affiliated with Berg, who is um, uh, neuroscience. So, I mean, so we got part of it, right? A student of computer science are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. I was going to say meditation. But Mushi and Berg are not looking for a miraculous. Did you know I scored really high on the SATs for uh, English? I, I, I was like a top percentile. Uh, Panacea? I swear to God, when I was in college, it was three point nine nine eight GPA. I, I, I am a very smart person. I uh, stop judging me. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. These start out recording something called Nakashima neurograph. Oh, okay. So then that was in the okay. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Mushi. Instead of static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Okay. Oh, we got more. It's not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds. But with the right computer model, Berg and Mushi can then administer all kinds of treatment without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We're about to fail treating you a million times over only to find the right way. That's an interesting concept. Um, an interesting way to go about the scientific method, I guess. Sure. Alright, that's not completely, you know, un un implausible. Implausible, unplausible. I gotta go back to school, guys. And when they do find the optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from PACE Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all the support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of the limelight and actually do the work. Interesting. Normally, aren't you trying to get into the limelight so that way you can get funded? But I guess if you're being funded, then that's, you know. Interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. That's, uh, that's what I like about scary games, is that it tends to almost... I closed you! Stay closed! That's what I like about scary games. They tend to tell the story based on... Um... Oh, what am I doing? There's a computer right here. Uh, based on documents around you, so you can sort of piece together that story. And that's what I do like about it. Unfortunately, it does involve reading, and we all know I'm not very good at reading, and... <sighs> I really like reading. I really do. It's that I need to blow this. <clears throat> so far, not so scary. We ain't doing too, too bad. Not so scary. Alright, so, um, scan now. Uh, David Mushi, subject scan now, May 2015. Oh, okay, so we're in May. Uh, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. David Mushi. Subject. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner's rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each... We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car accident. Should be interesting. Sent. To David Mushi. Subject were locked out. April 30th, 2015. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei, to have him touch, uh, to have us vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace Legal Department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Paul. That's back in April. Okay, so I need a code. I'm locked out, I guess. I guess that that's what I get. This is the I'm place, sorry. Right? It must be. Call let's me. Just call Machi real quick. Yeah, let's do that. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. That's... I can figure this out. I don't think I know it, guys. All right. Um. So there's got to be a note around here, right? Wait. You know, what? maybe it's probably in this one right here. Two five zero one. Two five zero one. What do you guys think? Booyah! All right, don't get used to that. That's not something that's going to happen often at all. Blech. Slam it. Can I open this? Can I stop the alarm? Yeah. Oh, it won't let me! What about in here? What's this? James, 9 to 12. Oh, that has an explosive signal. Oh, uh, Steve. Rule of thumb is anyone with the name Steve with a V is a douchebag. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Sally R. It's in here. Oh, this is not creepy at all. This is a big server room. Close this door. Turn on the light. Eh. Eh. A needle. Great. And we just... Put that inside here because I'm a doctor. I know these things. What's this? Also put that inside there. That totally belongs in there. <laughs> these are the brain scans. 
that's interesting. I don't understand a look of it. I know that that's a spine. It looks like it's a spine going into the brain. We just got random bones and then we got the joint pivots over there. We got a little molecular basis. That looks like an extra scan going through the brain, so like an MRI. Yeah, no, those look like MRIs. Uh, we got some stem cells over there. That's about everything I understand. Oh, and that's a scientific uh, drawing. I can do those. I am actually professionally trained to do those. But instead, I decided I want to do Let's Plays. So. Alright, I think that's, uh, let's see, any books to read? Anything like that? Can I? No? 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 What about over here? What about this? 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 This computer? Am I Nothing? Nothing. Can I, can I click on this? Can I sabotage the game? I guess not. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I'm guessing this is the door at the end of the hallway. Oh, God. All right. Well, you know what? I think that's where we're going to leave this episode for right now, guys. So, um... Yeah. So we didn't, we didn't really get much done. I did uh, go and fuck shit up, uh, as in I made the apartment kind of mirror my apartment. Uh, nothing too creeptastic now. I can see where there's going to be little puzzles and things going to go in. We have a little idea of the story. This guy's not a doctor. That's interesting. We have our main character, Simon, who seems like a genuinely nice guy. Nice voice. I do like his voice. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, XXOO, -O, give me a kiss before you go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, Pinkie Punks. Mwah!